Hi, I'm going to talk about dealing with problems in your aquaponics system. There is absolutely no doubt that you will face some problem or another regarding your aquaponics system. It could either be a flaw in the setup, fish dying or the plants not reaching their full potential. Each problem has a remedy. The crucial thing is that you need to have the info at your fingertips so that you can remedy the situation immediately before it gets worse. A stitch in time saves nine. This article will give you a few solutions to a few common problems. However, the list is by no means exhaustive. It would be great if you could obtain an Aquaponic Sky our online video course to give you a thorough understanding of the whole aquaponics system and all the tips, tricks and secrets the pros use. Most problems usually occur with the plants, either they start to wilt or die. Oftentimes, solving this problem is the most difficult because of the host of factors that is involved and any one factor might be responsible. So, you will need to do a careful examination and isolate the root cause of the problem and address it. In some cases, there may be a nutrient deficiency. If that occurs, a simple solution may be to add more fish into your system. However, if the number of fish you have is at optimum level, you may just wish to purchase some nutrients to add to your water every now and then. If your plants are wilting or turning brown, that could mean the chemical composition is the water is too harsh for the plants. If you've been adding any chemicals to the water, stop immediately. Try and remove about 20% of the water and add more water to dilute the chemicals present. If the leaves of your plants are dying, then you'll need to check the water flow. If the water is flowing too fast, your plants may not be getting enough oxygen. Moderate the water flow so that there is not too much movement. Then observe your plants over the next few days. Another point to note is that the pH level of the water plays a big role in keeping your plants healthy. Aim for a 6.87.0 range. Too acidic or too alkaline will cause your plants to die or be in poor health. Bugs and parasites may be another problem. Watch your plants closely and look out for these. Other than the plants, the fish too can give problems. In most cases, it's due to improper aeration of the water. If your fish keep coming to the surface and gasping for air, you will need to get a stronger pump to aerate the water. Too many fish in one container may also cause this problem. Keep an eye on dying or diseased fish and be quick to separate them from the rest if you notice something is wrong with them. These are just a few problems commonly encountered. If you encounter any other problems, it would be best to research online or get a good aquaponics book that will teach you to troubleshoot and solve these little inconveniences so that your system will be flourishing as soon as possible. Learn how to grow 10 times the plants in less time. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.